Hi, I'm going to show you how to copy an audio file from a video on YouTube and save it to your desktop or laptop into iTunes. The first thing you need to do is get on YouTube. Find a video that you want the audio from. It doesn't have to be music. It can be anything you want. Go up to the very top to the URL. Right click and go to copy. Then you go to listen to YouTube.com. And down a little bit, it will have a place for you to enter the URL. You right click and you hit paste. And that will paste the URL that you have from YouTube. Then you hit go. Right now it's downloading the file. This may take a few seconds. Whenever it's done, there will be a link that says download mp3. Click on that. Sometimes you experience problems on this part because some sort of uh, advertisement or a picture like this will pop up on the screen and cover the link and you just can't click it. You don't have to redo it. It doesn't take long though. It doesn't look like I'm going to have this problem this time, but it's possible. And right now I'm using my cell phone, so I have to excuse the terrible graphics and sound quality. Alright, on the next page you'll have another link. It says download mp3. You click that again. And it'll bring up a page that says open or save. You want to click save. Then if they ask you where you want to save it, I'm going to tell you right now, I saved it to desktop because that was where it was easiest for me to find it. And if it does that, it'll start to download it. This part is really quick and really easy. It doesn't take but just a few seconds. Right now, I'm going to upload and download on the bandwidth usage. It's kind of up, so it's going a little bit slower, but it does not take long at all. Whenever it's done, you can open the folder or just close the file or the page. And uh, on... Windows uh, 7, it asks if you want to allow it. You want to click allow. And then you can open it if you want. It might already open. Now, uh, you don't have to listen to anything. You can just close off of it as long as you saved it to the desktop. You're going to go back to the desktop, and it should be on the desktop. Whenever it is, you don't need to click anything to it. Simply go to My Computer or Files and Folders or whatever. On Windows 7, you, go on, you want to go to the library. Uh, this is for iTunes, by the way. Just make sure you know this. Go to Music. I'm going to go to iTunes, iTunes Media, automatically add to iTunes. Then you want to right click after you copy the song, uh, just click copy, and then paste it onto this here page, and it'll add it to the page for just a half a second, and it'll disappear. Whenever that happens, it adds it to iTunes. Now, right now, whenever you first download this, it doesn't have any information on it, so then you want to go to iTunes and click on recently added and it'll bring up all the music that you recently added at the very bottom it should have the song or whatever it is I got there as a thousand foot crutch what you do then is you right click on it and you go up to get info and this way you can edit the info and the lyrics and stuff hit info and then you want to just tell what artist it is like this right here is thousand foot crutch so you might just type in a uh, thousand foot crutch right now I'm typing with one hand so it's going to be kind of slow uh, you don't have to put an album or anything like that. Just put the name and the artist, and then you hit OK. And that will save it to your music. So you click Music, and then you go to a, whatever band it was, or whatever you saved it as. Like, go to Thousand Foot Crutch. And if you added it to a certain uh, album, it will be on there. But if it's not, it will probably be on the very bottom. And as you can see, it will play. Uh, right now, I think my volume must be down or something, but it will play. Anyway, that's how you copy the audio from the video on YouTube and save it to iTunes. Thanks for watching.